As unfortunate as it may be, PEDs are a permanent fixture in modern culture, especially modern fitness culture. Your Puritan holier-than-thou act went out of style a long time ago. And if you ask me, the superiority complex of you and all the other noble naturals, if anything, only shows how mentally weak you really are. Chest up. Shoulders back. Welcome to Revival Fitness, everybody. Your home for gains and brains. And today we're going to be responding to Natural Hypertrophy's response to me, where he says that, yes, you are indeed a better person because you choose to stay natural. And fair warning, guys, I know many of you like natural hypertrophy. I have nothing against the guy myself. But in my opinion on this topic, I think he's blatantly incorrect, and I think he's pretty pompous. All right, so if you can't handle criticism or a little bit of crap flinging back and forth, a little bit of name calling, okay? Just don't watch, all right? But you guys know how I am, dude. I don't shy away from people, and I don't pander, all right? And that is one of the core tenets of myself and my brand on YouTube. I am not going to bow down to the small YouTube natty messiah complex. I refuse to do it. And I'm a natural lifter myself. I don't even agree with his entire theory that I'm somehow better than someone else who is on gear. I simply don't believe that. I never have believed that. And you and I both know I could play up the natty card like he does, the self-righteous side, and say, oh, well, us naturals, right? Always us naturals. We're so much better than these gear users. We're more dedicated and more moral and we have more integrity, all this stuff. Not broadly speaking in all cases, I certainly don't believe that. So I'm not going to come on here and say that even though many of you want to hear that. And on the small side of YouTube fitness, I've been watching this stuff much longer than I've been making the stuff. This mindset has been prevalent for a long time. And someone has to finally knock some of you guys off this high horse you're on. And I guess it's going to be me. This self-righteous high horse that we're going to respond to, the natural hypertrophy clearly is on top of, I'm going to take it to the glue factory. And in the vein of natural hypertrophy, guys, I'm not going to do what I normally do with my videos. I'm not going to throw in a bunch of edits here. This is going to be more of a, just a talking style video, so this is more of like a podcast in some sense. But this is what I want to jump into here, guys. I think natural hypertrophy, and I'm going to start saying NH in place of natural hypertrophy, just interchangeably. I think his fundamental premise is not only incorrect. I think given everything going on in the modern world with social media and the prevalence of PEDs in all aspects of culture, I think his entire theory and the basis of it, for the most part, is nothing more than wishful thinking. And let's call a spade a spade here. That video angered many people, as I predicted it would, and I lost some subscribers. You guys are spamming the dislike button. I know you're angry that the YouTube dislike button's no longer there. It is what it is, guys. I can't control that. However, I know that angered many of you. And here's what really gets me. The fact that I said something as basic as, you're not a better person. I didn't say you were a worse person, or that the other group is better. I simply said, you're not better than the other group. And these guys got so up in arms and angry over that. What I've come to find out, guys, and I've intuitively known this, but I really saw it in person firsthand recently, these noble naturals, not all naturals, but the guys who have the self-righteous complex, they really have a massive egoic attachment to the fact that they're natural. The mere questioning of that alone got these guys so upset. It's like the Arthur Fist meme, how dare you question the noble naturals, you heathen. All I did was try to have a legit discussion and these guys got so bent out of shape over it. I think that says a lot. Really, the entire premise of their argument blows my mind, dude. The fact that you can tell them, hey, you're not superior to someone else. And they're like, yes, we are. Like, you guys sound like MJF. We're better than you and you know it. You're not going to make these things magically go away. It's never going to happen, no matter how much you thump your chest. I tried to show a balanced perspective because I know guys are still going to do it. I don't pretend to be their mommy like NH does and hold their hand and say, Oh, honey, don't look at that. It's everywhere, guys. Especially in the modern social media age. These young guys especially, he talked a lot about teenage guys in his video. 
Dude, these guys have access to the entire world of info at their fingertips all the time. The mainstream social media guys now all talk about PEDs, or at least they use them pretty obviously. Okay, this is not going to stop. And so I fundamentally disagree with his assertion that we have to shut the door on the discussion and topic of PEDs. That doesn't solve anything. These are exact quotes from his video. We have the high ground. We are better. We are making the right decision. You guys sound like a cult. Honest question, who do you guys think you are? Seriously, you guys are going to come online and lecture everybody else. And you know, oh, you care so much about other people and all this and that. Guys, I don't pretend to care so much about other people. I'm a live and let live type of person. People are going to make their decisions and live with the consequences of those decisions. And I've said numerous times, I don't encourage PED use, but all of a sudden I'm this guy who's glorifying PEDs and just opening the door for people to use them. As if I'm not the same guy who for over a year has been talking relentlessly about the shredded obsession, fake natties, realistic body standards, the need to bulk and gain some body fat, all this stuff, right? But all of a sudden, I'm this guy who's pushing PEDs onto all these kids. He says at the end of his video, we're at the risk of losing guys to PED use. Who is we? Is this a war? Or these sports teams? Who is we here, bro? What, your noble natty union? All you self-righteous natties? We're gonna lose another guy to the dark side. Guys, if someone wants to join the dark side, go ahead. I don't care. I encourage you to be smart and to make your own choices. But I'm not going to pretend to be like you, like the shepherd who has to lead all of the flock into the pastures of nattiness. I don't pretend to be that person. In my opinion, the fact that you have a video titled, Yes, You Are the Better Person, and the fact that so many agree with this, if you ask me, that's legitimately creepy, right? Not the fact that you weighed the pros and cons and made your decision and that you're confident in your decision. It's that you're better. You're a morally and ethically superior being to somebody else. And a lot of his arguments, as we're going to talk about here, they have this like Puritan, elitist, our way or the highway, there's no other way to do things rhetoric to them. It's very preachy and self-righteous. Like I said, it's very weird to me. NH says, and I quote, Natural lifters are superior in every way except physique. Which is just a patently ridiculous statement. I mean, this is how, like, grade school kids talk. I'm better than you in every way. What are you talking about, dude? And then he says that he's going to prove how this is correct, and he goes on to give his reasoning. He literally gives his own opinions, his own subjective opinions on the entire matter, but he says prove, as if it's a tangible fact. It's a fact that naturals are better. That's not a fact, bro. You cannot prove that. That's an opinion. That's all it is. We're not saying, oh, the sky is blue. I'm saying, oh, it's green. It's people using something, putting something into their bodies, and you're framing it as, oh, if you decide to do that, you're inherently a wrong below the people that don't. And NH says this himself in his video, and I'm still gonna say it anyway. This is a cope. Oh, you say cope and cringe and whatever. Hey, man, you're coping. You have to go on the internet and just sit here and lambast and paint yourself as the higher authority simply over this topic. That's insecurity to me. If you are so disturbed by this, what other people choose to do with their bodies, that you claim the moral high ground and say over and over, I am better than them, we are better than them. Who are you, dude? And I'll go as far as to say this, and a lot of you are going to get upset, but it is what it is. In my book, if you are willing to paint yourself as a moral and ethical authority over somebody else, simply over the decision of PED use, I believe that's narcissism. Because it's not just enough for you to say your main points. We all know the normal natural points. Slow and steady progress. Healthier. You're not going to lose it all when you come off cycle. No health risks. No legality. All that stuff. There's obvious reasons why people want to and do stay natural, but that's not enough for you guys. It can't just be those, hey, we believe the cons outweigh the pros. For you, it has to be, we are better human beings. That's ridiculous. Like I said, you guys have a serious ego attachment to the fact that you're natural. NH says, and I quote, every PED user is insecure. Once again, patently absurd statement, and that's nothing more than an opinion. First of all, how would you even know that? Athletes, people with major goals and aspirations, 
people who are simply curious about the substances. You just broad stroke every single group, oh, you're all insecure. Are there insecure people who use PEDs as a coping mechanism? Yes, obviously there are. Do people jump on them before earning their stripes, so to speak? They just hop on to get the immediate results? Yes, obviously they do. But to paint every single user as some insecure little kid who's scared of his own reflection in the mirror, that's absurd, and you know it. Another quote here, he says, if you don't have faith in your own body, that's the pinnacle of insecurity. Who are you to determine that, dude? It's not about not having faith in your own body. Like I said, I know he gets upset at this. Certain achievements require PEDs. If you want to compete in bodybuilding on a serious level, unless it's a natural federation, yes, you need PEDs. If you want to set world records in strength or powerlifting, you're going to have to go on PEDs. Again, he's going to sit here and pretend like, oh, they all could have done it naturally. That's delusional. When it comes to high-end sports and physique competition and athletics and things of that nature, PEDs are simply part of the equation. It is what it is. Like I said, no amount of covering your eyes and trying to hide it is going to change that fact. He also says, 99% of people who use drugs never make it to the top. That's correct. But the ones who do make it to the top still use the drugs. I don't know what his point is here because by default, right, the bell curve, only a small fraction of 1% of people are going to become extremely well-known successful in any athletic or physique endeavor. And also, if somebody wants to experiment with them, if they've been in the gym and they've seen the results that they can bring, if they just want to try them out for themselves and see what happens to their own body, once again, who are you to determine that that's wrong or that they're automatically insecure? He says PED users aren't moral enough and don't have the discipline to stay natty. Seriously, who the fuck are you, bro? What is this messiah complex self-righteousness? I mean, it's oozing out of your video, bro. I don't know what gets you off on this. It's probably the mental aspect of like, oh, I'm so much better. You get the little ego gratification. I don't know who you think you are, dude, to just project everybody else's insecure because they made a decision that you're not willing to make. Like I said, you're coping. There are plenty of PED users who are some of the most disciplined people on the planet. Professional bodybuilders, professional athletes, powerlifters, strongmen, right? These people that get to the top right, the top 1%, very well known, it takes extreme discipline to get there in the first place. Oh, but they use PEDs. They can't be disciplined, right? And on top of that too, plenty of PED users are simply good-hearted, regular people who just decided to take the plunge. That's it. It does not change their morals or ethics or somehow make them a worse person. They decided to take a gamble and you didn't. And then you're just going to sit here and paint them all as these heathens. Oh, you're lazy. You have no morals, all this stuff. Give me a break, dude. So he says that shame is what causes people on the fence about this topic to stay natural. And he goes on and on too about moral relativism. Like we need to focus on the greater good of society. Oh, moral relativism. We can't just make excuses for this group of people. You're talking about your own subjective ethics, your own opinions, but you're broadcasting them on to the greater public in general. Like guys, we're not talking about stealing, murder, assault, any other seriously heinous crimes where somebody is seriously affected by it. We're talking recreational drug use. Or in some cases, he's still against this pharmaceutical doctor-aided drug use. And he talks about it as if the fabric of society is crumbling beneath our feet. And he goes on to say that I'm dropping black pills because I don't outright say not to do PEDs. Guys, I gave a legitimate rational discussion examining two sides of this topic. I've said before, guys, in my Alpha Destiny Greg Doucette response, right? Because he's like, Greg drops black pills. Are you like Greg? Dude, I've told you guys numerous times, I think he would agree with this. You can get very good results naturally. You absolutely can. You absolutely can mog 95% of the general public if you train smart for a prolonged period naturally. But once again, I don't demonize PED, so now I'm dropping black pills on the audience. Dude, if giving a rational, well-rounded discussion on this topic without demonizing one side or the other is a black pill, I don't know what to tell you. Natural hypertrophy and all these guys, they love to call these gear users insecure and narcissists. You guys fit those same characteristics very well. In some cases, better than the gear users. There are plenty of naturals who are still insecure and unhappy with their bodies. 
They still have bad work ethic. They still are bad people in general. I mean, seriously, guys, I don't even understand what his baseline point is. He's talking in terms, he says this in the video too, he's like, I try to focus on the facts and objectivity, not all this moralist stuff. Dude, your entire argument is based in perceived moral superiority. You can't paint just one side of this as the bad side or your side as the better side and then say that you want to focus on only the facts. Those are not facts. He says, and I quote, you take drugs for a better life and then they ruin your life. There are plenty of people who will happily go on gear to get the bigger size, the bigger strength, more defined abs, whatever it is, more veins. They will happily trade off some of their health, even if it means taking off some years off their life, worse blood pressure, worse lipids, whatever it is. They will still do that to get the body of their dreams. And according to you, that's insecure and they're bad people for that. And the way you talk about drugs too in general, I would assume you're straight edge, dude. I would assume you don't drink or smoke at all. I don't know that for sure. But the way you demonize PEDs, you talk about them, oh, there's health consequences and it's a shortcut and all this stuff. Plenty of people drink as a shortcut to socialize. Plenty of people smoke bud or cigarettes as a shortcut to short-term dopamine spikes. Okay, so that's just a general tip for everybody here. If you're railing against PED use, right, oh, it's not healthy, all this stuff, but you smoke and or drink or do other party drugs, you're totally full of shit. Natural hypertrophy and these guys repeatedly paint everybody on gear as helpless, short-sighted, insecure. Even though these guys themselves have consumed the content, engaged in the comment section of, and learned from guys who do or have done PEDs. You know natural hypertrophy used to be in the comment section of every video on every fitness channel all the time. That's how he started to grow his channel. He was first in the comment section and would leave some corny joke every single time. He would do this on the channel of Enhance Guys. Oh, you're promoting PED use, bro. How dare you? And we're gonna talk about guys like John Meadows coming up soon, guys, but that's another paragraph here, essentially. But fundamentally, the main point of his argument is moral superiority. There's no way to argue that. He literally says, naturals are better people. You are not willing to take the gamble with PEDs yourself. And that's totally fine. I totally understand your reasoning. I fully support your decision to do so. But you're then going to sit there right, and laugh at the people and shame the people who do decide to take that gamble. Whether it pays off amazingly or doesn't pay off at all or really makes them lose money in this metaphor, all you get to do is sit there and laugh at the losers and shame the winners. And he has a section in the middle of the video too about virtue signaling and saying, I don't understand virtue signaling this and that. Dude, you and your camp here are the definition of virtue signaling to a T. You quite literally are pushing your own moral superiority over others. That's what virtue signaling is. You are assuming a position of ethical superiority, and then you're going to shame and demonize and make fun of the people that don't fit within your thought box. Just because you want and plan to be natural for your entire life, that does not make you a better person. Once again, you're choosing not to do something. Other people are choosing to do something. That does not put you above them. Not everybody shares your ethics and morals, nor are they supposed to. Once again, this is not assault and murder and theft. This is recreational or pharmaceutical drug use. And he goes on too to talk about SJWs, how I use like SJW language or something. Bro, you noble naturals are some of the biggest SJWs on the internet. You guys do nothing but shame and mock and project your own superiority, like I said, virtue signaling, onto the people that are not natural. You guys are the SJWs of the fitness community. Oh, we're all natural. We're better than these people, these stupid juice heads. We have more discipline. We work harder. We're more ethical. We do it the right way. This other group of people have an opinion or perspective that you disagree with. So you try to shame and mock them and cancel and destroy their influence. That's literally what SJWs do. I mean, seriously, dude, sitting on a perceived moral high horse is like the foundation ground level of the SJW mentality. So here's a serious question for you. Based on your own premise, are you and all of your other noble naturals, you guys are automatically better than Seabum, Arnold, Ronnie Coleman, Larry Wheels, Dr. Mike and the Renaissance Periodization guys, Juji Mufu, John Meadows, 
you're better than all those guys based on your own premise. Would you agree with that? Because if you disagree with that or try to back out of it now, like, oh, well, maybe I'm not better, I'd... then you're wrong. You're admitting that you're wrong. You guys talk about all PED users as if they're like literal crackheads, like junkies, just, oh, I don't got to find my next cycle, bro. Guys, the decision to remain on PEDs for an extended period or even life, if you can afford to do so and are willing to do so and you can keep your health relatively in check, who are you to tell them not to do that, bro? Now, once again, I'm not saying there's gonna be no health effects, no potential consequences, but like I mentioned earlier, if the person making that decision is willing to encounter, willingly encounter those side effects, they know this going into it, they know the risks, they know the rewards, they've weighed the decision, where do you come in as the shepherd, oh no, you think you're like a biblical character, dude. Oh no, I've descended from the heavens. You better not do this. And that's going to go into the next point I have here. The normalization or glorification of PEDs. And I hate to burst your bubble because again, I've said this, a lot of you guys, natural hypertrophy in these guys, you live in the past. I don't know where you've been for the past 15, 20, 30 years of life if you're that old. PEDs have been normalized for years, guys. That ship sailed a long time ago. There are tons of movie and TV scenes depicting steroids or talking about steroids. There's been congressional cases and court cases about this topic in professional and amateur sports. And now most major fitness content, directly or indirectly, talks about this topic. But we're supposed to believe that they're somehow not normalized or still taboo, or that they should be taboo. The cat's out of the bag, bro. And I saw a comment similar to this too on my own video. And he says this, the last remnants of morality. Once again, dude, who are you to determine morality? You think you can paint all of society under your umbrella of what morality and ethics are? These noble natties like NH, they really think that we're going to just lights out on PEDs and we're just going to cover people's eyes and not talk about them and shame the people that use them and we're somehow going to eradicate them from most of society. Like I said at the beginning, guys, that's wishful thinking at best and frankly, it's pretty delusional. Natural Hypertrophy was saying he gives no evidence on why it's bad or no proof of why it's bad to shame PED users and I'm like, aside from just being like a decent person who doesn't just lambast people for no reason, but he encourages, explicitly encourages a shaming PED users. He goes on to say, you should shame them and that it might save their lives. When in reality, that same theory as we've seen numerous times in society, that doesn't work. In fact, this holier than thou attitude you guys have more than likely drives people in the opposite direction. And this happens constantly, guys. You know what I mean? The kid who has very strict parents, they can never go out and party, strict curfew, all this stuff. They go to college, blackout drunk, hooking up with everybody. That happens all the time, guys. Or think about this one too. The person raised in a very religious upbringing or the religious household, always going to church. You must say your prayers. You gotta do what the creator says or whatever. Those people often grow up to not believe in the church they grew up in, or they straight up hate it. They disrespect it, or they're just atheists. The point is though, they leave the faith that they were brought up in. The thing is, guys, whenever you try to do this moral superiority, shaming language, oh, I'm high and mighty and you better do this or you're not as good as I am, you turn people off. I can't speak for other countries, but at least in America, I don't know if they still do this, but they had the D.A.R.E. program. Drug abuse, resistance education or something like that. They would have a police officer or some person come in and talk to you about how drugs are so bad, don't do drugs, don't do drugs. All we hear in society, guys, from the time we're little is don't do drugs, drugs are bad, don't do drugs. You can look at any demographic and statistic data. The drug trade and the use of drugs in general in society, both pharmaceutical and recreational, is constantly higher and higher, no pun intended, every single year. More and more and more and more people always do drugs, despite all we hear about is don't do drugs, they're bad, they're bad. This type of messaging does not work. Like I said, dude, you noble naturals are like a junior varsity cult. You're like the vegans walking around like, meat's gonna kill you, meat's gonna kill you. If you think that, that's fine, but you're in no position to put yourself on a place of moral superiority because someone eats differently than you do, or they choose to put something in their body that you will not put in your body. You have no leg to stand on here from your moralistic imperative. 
Moral relativism, moral relativism. Yeah, dude, it goes both ways. Your view of what society should be does not dictate what all of society should be. And this goes on to the next point, guys. I mentioned this in the main gaining nuke video, the dirty bulk fallacy. Natural hypertrophy and these guys make the same fallacy, just with drugs. Instead of the dirty bulk fallacy, their fallacy is the extreme cycle fallacy. They talk about every gear user as if they're on a ton of steroids, their health is in immediate danger, or you're gonna drop dead at 50 like Rich Piana. That is simply not true, guys. I see so many comments from these dudes like, well, at least I'm gonna live until I'm 50. Uh, if you haven't noticed, guys, most gear users do. Maybe not these hulking, massive, freaky IFBB pros of today, but a lot of the guys from Arnold's era and beyond that are still alive and kicking, or they at least were into their, what, late 60s, 70s, 80s, normal lifespans. You're gonna drop dead when you're 50, bro. You're gonna do trend at a thousand migs. You see in the own thumbnail of his video, guys, he says like trend fiend or test fiend, trend abuser, right? It's just this typical fear mongering. Oh, you're gonna do so much and die and have major health consequences immediately. Guys, what do you think the average person on gear is actually taking? Again, these guys think that these dudes are all on these giant copious lists of IFBB pro cycles. Most people obviously are not. Most people can't afford that. Most people cannot handle the health consequences of that, which you'd think they would realize that, then they'll stop, right? And that goes on to John Meadows really quickly too, man. Because he was talking about John Meadows. He's like, I think John Meadows was a good guy, but he's dead. And it's like, dude, John Meadows was on heavyweight pro IFBB doses, and he knew that he had a heart condition while he was still on the gear. He knew what was going to happen. He knew that risk was there. He decided to do it. These same guys now, if John Meadows was still alive, what they were even saying a year or two ago when he was alive, they're like, look at this juice head, this typical IFBB pro roid head, doesn't know anything, he's not going to help you naturals. Then John Meadows passes away, right? Oh, we love you, John. Rest in peace, legend. I watched this happen in real time, guys. He's worse than me. He chose his own early grave, but now it's, oh, John. Oh, we're so sorry you passed away from us. Uh-huh. You guys think you're slick, dude. He goes on to say, PEDs don't make you a bad person, but they do make you a dead person. First of all, everybody dies. Like I just said, some people are more than willing to shave years off of their life expectancy to accomplish major goals now. Whether that's IFBB pro bodybuilding, extreme powerlifting, pro sports, pro wrestling, acting, whatever it is, people are willing to shorten their lifespan to accomplish more now. That does not bother me. I'm totally fine with that. That seems to bother the mess out of you guys. I don't agree with that. Well, you don't agree. That's all it is. I'm going to live until I'm 90. Okay. Again, a lot of you guys are still going to croak when you're in your late 60s. Oh, I'm going to live so much longer. You don't know that. You can't guarantee that. These guys are always talking about Sean Roden, George Peterson, John Meadows, Rich Piana, who natural hypertrophy has a video saying, I miss Rich Piana. So I guess by your own logic, dude, you're glorifying PED use because you miss the guy who was on a bunch of PEDs and you're showing his image. Oh, the kids might search him and look at his cycle history, dude. You better take the video down, dude. There's no way to really quantify this, but I would bet the average IFBB pro takes more stuff in one month than the average recreational user does in years. I mean, seriously, guys, some of the IFBB pros that open up about their cycles, you can read articles online and watch videos. They take so much stuff, high doses, everything. You all think the average person's running around on the stuff necessary to facilitate a heart attack at 46. That's not true at all. And then he said too, he was mentioning the hormone testing that I was promoting. Oh, well you have an ad for hormone testing. This makes you suspect. Like I said, guys, I acknowledge that people are going to do this and that some people already are doing this. If I can get them a discount on their own blood work, I'm happy to do that. Right now, and again, he's like, oh, well you're gonna encourage it because teenage kids are gonna get their levels tested. And if I was a teenager and got my levels tested, they were going to be low and I would have went on TRT or something, but I didn't. And it's like, dude, you guys think these doctor's offices just hand out TRT to people willy nilly? I'm not talking about more plates, more dates clinic or these clinics down in Florida that are run by IFBB pros. I'm talking general practitioners. Guys, you can look at hundreds of forum posts and videos about guys saying they clinically tested for low T. 
they had all the symptoms and their doctors still would not give them TRT. He's on here saying all doctors will immediately prescribe you TRT. This guy is clueless, dude. He's talking out of his ass. First of all, let's get checked is not a TRT clinic. And second of all, if somebody qualifies and is willing to take TRT, an older guy who's seen his quality of life decrease, even if he's been training and eating well, his natural levels are simply just dropping with age. If he can qualify and wants to do so, why is he vilified? Why is that a bad decision? He also says too, this is hilarious, that drugs from a doctor are nearly as risky. He says it's like this and this. Nearly as risky as drugs from the underground. Uh, uh, down. Hell, uh. What are you even talking about, bro? Doctor prescribed PEDs, which really are only what? Testosterone in a relatively low dose? Maybe an extra thing or two for joint health, like a peptide or something? That's just as dangerous from a doctor and a known legitimate verified pharmacy is underground stuff they're on the same near the same level of danger are you serious he also says too this is a classic noble natty line there is no safe dose uh yeah there is dude there are guys who've been on trt 150 200 megs and maybe a little bit less they're fine they're in perfect health in fact their health is better on than before they were on there's no safe dose though any dose is going to turn into years and years of your life and it's going to become this snowball into a massive cycle again dude who do you think you are you think you can speak just broad brush strokes for every single person you don't know these people's circumstances or their lives like this dude and all these other noble naturals man they're vintage fear mongering and he kept harping on the point about teenagers well the teenagers are going to watch your video and they're going to get their blood work and it's going to be low because they're lazy and don't exercise then they're going to get trt from the doctor like i said first of all guys TRT is not given out like candy, especially to teenage guys, all right? Most legit practitioners are not going to just give you testosterone replacement, especially as a young dude with one blood test below the average reference range. No legit doctor is going to do that. They're going to tell you, hey, eat better and exercise. I would at least hope they do. Okay, oh, so now I have to sit here and vet every single doctor. I know this is sacrilege. For me to say from your perspective and i should never say it because it's gonna get the kids to do it there are plenty of gym rats normal gym rats day-to-day -day guys and women too by the way who do recreational doses and they're largely fine now once again are health problems a potential concern of course they are as are the concern for the cosmetic side effects the heart side effects the cholesterol the liver all this stuff right plaque in the arteries yes this is all a possibility and especially if you do higher doses more and more and you never lower the dose or go on like a low level, of course, these are probably going to happen to you. But like I mentioned, people are willing to do it. Oh, well, I'm going to live longer. That's fine. Of course, health issues are a possibility, guys. But to come out here and talk as if a bunch of PED users, general people, are in hospital beds and on ventilators and croaking in their 40s and early 50s, that's simply not true. There are far fewer examples of that than there are that being the norm. I know this shocks a lot of you like traditionalist, old school type guys, but not everybody wants to live until they're 80 or 90. Many people do not care about maximizing their lifespan for as long as possible. And then you're going to say, oh, when you get older, you're going to wish you live longer. Yeah, maybe. You very well might get old and think, I never cashed in the natty card. I could have potentially gone pro in something or been much more famous or made more money you might have that thought too bro when you're on your deathbed when you're old in your rocking chair like dang i really just said no the entire time if you want to that's fine but don't sit here and shame people who are willing to take the gamble just because they took the gamble and you didn't if they're lying about it i would say that makes them a bad person if they're intentionally deceiving people but if they're not deceiving people what's the issue and that's going to lead us into the final, at least broad, topic for this video. Body dysmorphia relating to PED use. I hear a lot from guys like NH that PED use, no matter who is doing it, because he says it like affects the society and the culture as a whole, he says that pretty much body dysmorphia is guaranteed to spread and happen to the people that use PEDs in their surrounding culture. And broadly speaking, yes, I agree. I think that is true 
and I'm one of the most well-known people, at least on the small side of YouTube guys, who talks about this repeatedly. I've been going up to bat against, like I said earlier, the shredded obsession, the fake natties, all of this stuff. You're going to get big and stay ripped at the same time. I discuss on my channel constantly this delusional thinking and these physiques and standards that have been put in place from the use of performance enhancing drugs. I tell my audience all the time that their perceptions have been skewed by much of social media. And it's funny because you said this too, you're like, revival must consume too much social media. It's like, dude, I see a lot of it. I analyze it. That's why I'm so familiar with the space, but that does not mean that I somehow automatically have very bad body dysmorphia myself. I've been on camera numerous times without abs. I've been on this camera without abs for like a year straight, even a little bit longer than a year. And unflattering angles, I have a video about unflattering angles and stuff, right? If I had legitimate body dysmorphia to the degree that you seem to think I do for just mentioning this topic, dude, I probably wouldn't have a channel to begin with. And he was trying to get on my case about how I was putting up images of really big and successful IFBB pros talking about how, oh, well, he's too obsessed with social media and these are his standards and stuff. I put those up as an example because I said some goals, very serious goals, are going to require PEDs. He was talking about how, oh, the average natural can look so much better than most people out in public, better than 99%. I agree with that, bro. What did I say earlier, 95%? It's an extremely high percentage. You are going to mog and stand out in public generally, right? If you lift and train naturally for a long period. But I did not say in that video, good results, above average, solid, even great. I said eye-popping results. And I put up a picture of George Peterson. Not really good, I said eye-popping. On a stage, people are paying to watch you flex in person. There's really not a natural on earth who fits that profile. And that's just how it is. Now, do most people want that look, that eye-popping, crazy bodybuilder look? No, they don't. But evidently, plenty of people do. Stages are full every single year. Fans are watching and following these people more and more. People evidently want that look, and people evidently appreciate and support that look. And once again, I said this in my old Alpha Destiny Do Set video too. Alex was talking about how most guys would rather look like Henry Cavill than Greg or some other IFBB pro. I totally agree with that. And I said myself, you can look like Henry Cavill in that mold with years of serious training and diet. I've been discussing this issue from day one on this channel. But once again, I operate in reality. I know what's going on. The extreme physiques dominate the space. Men and women both, people that look crazier and crazier, draw the most attention. And again, his assertion that we need to never open the door about PEDs and somehow try to just hide it forever and mock it, that's unrealistic. It is far too prevalent in culture as a whole and especially in fitness culture to try to just hide it forever. That accomplishes literally nothing. I would say that everybody involved in lifting culture has some degree of body dysmorphia. A little bit of it is inherent just as you watch your own body change. But to suggest that every PED user, again, total blanket statement, broad brush, to assume that all of them have this severe body dysmorphia, they're unhappy with themselves, they're scared, you cannot guarantee that for every person. There's plenty of people who got to their natural peak, very close to their natural peak, and said, look, I still want the progress to continue faster, and I'm willing to take the risks needed to facilitate that regain speed of progress. And like I said too, I am far from the biggest, leanest, or strongest guy on this platform. And I still show you photos, videos of myself all the time. And he's talking about, oh well, Revival Fitness projects his body dysmorphia and stuff. He's like, Greg, really dude? Honestly, if anything, natural hypertrophy, as defensive as you get about this topic, I've never once heard any PED user get as defensive of their gear use as you guys get about your natural status. You guys have seen my receipts. I get dozens of messages on a weekly basis from younger, older, men and women, fat, skinny, whatever. I get messages from all kinds of viewers telling me how my videos help them with their own body dysmorphia and even with their own eating disorders. But then all of a sudden I'm the big bad wolf on here because I dare talk about PEDs. 
the thing that is the total elephant in the room in all these discussions and modern gym culture in general, I dare to talk about it, and now I'm the bad guy. Rational discussions are going to help people with their own body dysmorphia and understanding more about the reality of the industry. This fear-mongering, eye-covering, mommy-holding-the-kid's hand act, that's not going to help. You're not saving anybody with your preachy rhetoric. From my perspective, you guys care much more about boosting your own egos and stroking the egos of other noble naturals than you do about actually helping somebody in their life. And this leads into the social stigma, because this is really where the rubber meets the road for these noble naturals. Aside from the legal aspect, social stigma is the number one reason why people who take PEDs will not talk about, or at least be honest about, PEDs. And you know what? The noble naturals are a big reason why. We sit here and roast, rightfully so, all of these fake naturals. We flame them, make memes about them, talk about how they're wrong, all of this stuff, which we have the right to do. I totally support mocking and shaming known con artists and con men, as if every single PED user is a con artist, okay? But we do all of that talking, and then, whenever they finally do open up about it, right, some channels finally will say, I'm not natural, I'm coming clean, I'm gonna discuss what I did, here are my side effects. You noble natties, the same guys who sit here and are like, give us the truth, peasant. You shall tell us the truth at once. You guys claim to want the truth, then when they dare to share the truth of their own experience, you still shame and mock them. They finally do exactly as you've been wanting, they give the honesty, and then you still have to sit here and make fun of them. And then you're surprised whenever they don't want to talk about it. Oh, at least my manhood doesn't come from a vial like you. Enjoy your small balls, loser. Haha, <laughs> I hope a heart attack at 50 was worth it. Of course they don't want to discuss it. They know they're going to get a bunch of passive-aggressive bullshit from guys like you whose personalities revolve around making fun of them. So trying to sit here and gatekeep the morality, oh, well, you can never be moral. You made a terrible decision. You're going to pay for it forever. Yeah, maybe they will. But how is your nobility going to help them? We need to have legitimate conversations from people who have experienced this stuff to give people a better idea of what it actually is and the risks and everything else involving it. And you guys want to stop those conversations from even happening. You cannot lump every single PED user into the trash bin with the insecure people, the people that never learn how to train and they just hop on for their results, then they shrink. The people that go into it completely blindly, they never research their friends, hey, take this, bro, okay. You want to lump all gear users even the responsible ones, the ones who make money, they can afford it, they have a doctor's consult, they've researched it for years, they've earned their stripes before they made the decision. You want to lump all these people into one bad category. If you ask me, the most effective way to curb the fake natty problem, as much as we possibly can, is not to keep everybody in the dark and to shame them with this preachy bullshit you do. It's to have legitimate open conversations. But I keep going back to my main point here. The future is here. We are where we are. We're not going to be able to turn back the clocks and go back to 1950, pre-internet, pre-all of this social media content. The word is out. People know about these things, and we're not going to be able to hide them from them forever, or just simply say, you're not a good person, and make them not do it. If something piques somebody's interest, guys, and when you're really into lifting, no matter what kind of lifting you like, the topic is going to be discovered and found out eventually. Oh, but natural training is the best way and it's so much better because laundry list of things why I'm better than other people. You might think that. Not everybody thinks that way. And plenty of people do think that way, but they're still willing to take the risk to see what happens. It's really just an experiment. It's a personal experiment some people are willing to do, others aren't. Society as a whole has been trying your method, the shame and preachy method, They've been trying that for decades now. Hasn't worked. As unfortunate as it may be, PEDs are a permanent fixture in modern culture, especially modern fitness culture. Your Puritan holier-than-thou act went out of style a long time ago. Your personal subjective ethics have no bearing on how other people live their lives. Could it be short-sighted, the decision to go on? Sure. Could it be out of laziness? Of course it could be. Could it be rushed and not properly researched? Not enough medical resources gathered, enough data, so to speak? Yes, 
All of these things can and do happen, but they happen with every single substance on the planet as well. But this goes beyond even substances, guys. People rush into short-sighted decisions and make kind of lazy, lackadaisical choices all the time. People rush into jobs, buying a house, getting pets, relationships. You're not better than somebody else because they made a mistake, like I said, took a gamble, and you didn't. There's more than likely a number of ways in your own life that you've taken a gamble, and it has not paid off for you. So if they come over and roast you for that, ah, oh, I'm much better than you, would you appreciate that? And like I said, that is not the case for everybody. Plenty of people research this thoroughly, they consult with doctors, they are financially secure, all of this stuff. So again, painting everybody in this box of just stupid, lazy, unethical, that's immature. That's really a weak argument. So in closing, natural hypertrophy and the rest of your self-righteous natty crew, get off your high horse, accept we're in the 21st century, accept that not every single person believes or behaves in the same way you do. Time is not going backwards and everybody dies. And plenty of people are more than willing to shorten their lifespan and increase their chance of health risks to accomplish something in the short term or to test something out. As I said in my old Natty or Not video, someone else's gear use, no matter how small or how extreme it is, does not affect your own results or your own knowledge. Yes, we should be roasting the fake Natties. But once again, not every single PED user, in fact, a lot of them are not even fake naturals. Plenty are good, genuine, honest people who chose to make a decision. And if you ask me, the superiority complex of you and all the other noble naturals, if anything, only shows how mentally weak you really are. I am not a doctor, but I am going to prescribe every single noble natural watching this your first cycle right now. It's called a dose of reality. Take it.